We've already seen the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, and the derivative of cosine of x is minus sine of x. But how about the other trig functions? For example, what is the derivative of tangent of x? Or the derivative of cotangent of x? Or the derivative of secant of x and cosecant of x? Now, you might think we need to derive each of these from scratch using the limit definition. For example, the derivative of tangent of x is the limit as h goes to 0 of tangent of x plus h minus tangent of x all over h. And certainly, you can do that approach, but instead we can use a shortcut. All of these other trig functions are defined in terms of sine and cosine. For example, tangent is just defined to be sine divided by cosine. So instead of calculating the derivative of tangent of x, I can think about it as calculating the derivative of this quotient, sine of x divided by cosine of x. How do I do that? I need to use the quotient rule. Remember, it's not just the derivative of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom. Instead, I need to do the quotient rule that says hold the bottom, so that'd be cosine of x, times the derivative of the top. The derivative of sine is cosine of x. Minus, hold the top, leave sine of x the same, and times it by the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of cosine is minus sine of x. And then all over the bottom squared, cosine squared of x. Here on top, I get cosine times cosine, that is cosine squared of x, minus sine times minus sine. That's plus sine squared of x. But you know that cosine squared plus sine squared for any angle x is just 1. So I get 1 over cosine squared of x. 1 over cosine is secant, so 1 over cosine squared is secant squared of x. That is, the derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. We can do similar arguments for the other ones. Secant is just 1 over cosine. So I can rewrite secant as 1 over cosine, use my quotient rule, and find that the derivative of secant comes out to be secant of x times tangent of x. How about for these guys on the right? Well, Cosine's already beginning to give us a pattern. Just like how cosine gave you a minus sign, all of these will be negative. And it's exactly what it was before. It's exactly analogous to what it was before, but we're going to replace everything with cos. So in instead of doing tangent, we're doing cotangent. Instead of getting out secant squared, we get minus cosecant squared. Instead of doing secant, we have cosecant. So instead of getting out secant times tangent, we get out minus cosecant times cotangent. Again, you can just verify any of these by thinking about what is the definition of cosecant? It's 1 over sine. Calculate the derivative of 1 over sine, and you'll get something equivalent to negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x. So here we go. These are the formulas for our trig functions. It will be important that you commit these to memory so you're able to quickly use them in upcoming examples.